All right, Aaron Parker, Parker Safes and Vaults, Shelbyville, Tennessee. This is a look today at a residential vault door. And this is a new product line for us. This is a company out of Canada, Toronto, Canada, called Incas. Here's their logo here on this smaller safe. But these guys specialize in higher end safes and uh, jewelry safes and that kind of stuff. And then also uh, ballistic uh, armored vehicles and, and all that kind of stuff. So even this door, even though it's residential, it's still armored. It's got a BR6 rating, which means it's good up to uh, 7.62 7 by 51 caliber. And so this is, uh, this is the only door that we sell that actually has a armored uh, or a ballistic rating like that. So kind of cool. It's also a modular door. So it comes apart. These three panels that you see, the center one there being all the bolt works and everything. But then all these three panels come, up, come apart from inside. And then you can transport them. You can carry them wherever you need to go. Upstairs, downstairs, you know, around tight corners or whatever. The outer frame, uh, you know, kind of is, is all one piece, but it's, it's lighter weight. So I, the whole door only weighs like, 540 pounds. I think that's right. 560 or 540, somewhere in there. And uh, this is a smaller door. This is the BPVD. So BP Bravo Papa VD vault door. 3478 is the model. So it measures, the rough opening would be 34 by 78 for an eight inch wall. And the outer, the, the door itself, uh, all in is 40 and a quarter wide by 81 and a quarter tall, right? So it has a one hour fire rating on it. All right, let's have a look here. So inside, you can kind of see these panels here. And these are the, uh, these are the armored panels. They're about a quarter inch, quarter inch thick here. And then all these bolts are what come undone to remove those panels. And like I said, the center one has all the bolt works on it, all right? So, they're very, uh, <laughs> they're very secretive and very tight-lipped about their, the the, the composite material that they use, and then also their bolt works, all you know, and their hard plates, relockers, and all that stuff. So I'm not gonna. I just took the panel off here to kind of check it out so I could talk about it a little bit, but I'm just not gonna show you because they're very uh, strict about that, and which is cool, which is good. I mean, that's what we want, right? But I can tell you that it has two hard plates, which is rare. So two hard plates, one's a quarter inch, the other one's a half inch, and uh, they're not in the same spot. And then it has a half inch um, relocking system. All this stuff that you see here, a half inch, uh, 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 not bar stock, but uh, uh, what are round stock, geez. Um, and all this stuff that we see here is part of the panic room option, right? So once we shut this door, all I have to do to lock myself in here is pop up on that, okay? So now from outside, even if the bad guy, say, knows the combination, right? Still can't get in. And we, uh, we can still get out right here, right? We can just slide that little lever right there over and we can get out. But with the lock won't work again until until we drop this down and we have to do that. So we just raise up on that, that drops into place. And now I can't get out from here. You know, I'd already be on the outside, but that's how you would lock your door. And then from out here, we're working again, right? All right. So it's probably a lot easier than I just made it sound. But basically just know that if you're, if you want to lock yourself in, all you got to do is pop up on this, just like that. And we're locked in. But this, everything about it just feels, you know, like high quality stuff. Like this handles, I don't know, it just, like I had to take it off and it's a heavy, heavy handle just for, for all it is. But everything just swings nice. Um, you know, there's, um, there's, there aren't any bolts you might've noticed. And here, here's a good look at the door. But you might've noticed that there's only bolts here, right? That's part of that modular system. But there aren't any bolts back here. And so that's a concern if, you know, if somebody were to cut off these hinges, right? That could be a concern, right? But what happens here is, let's see if I can show you. Right here, there's like a lip right here and that seats in behind this frame right here. So there's a step right here and then it seats in behind when the door shuts behind this whole frame. So it's, it's 
that, I mean, it's, it's very secure from what I'm seeing. I'm, I'm impressed. Um, and then it has like a, I think you can anchor in, I haven't even read the instructions on it, but, but I think you can anchor it into the wall, but then also there are these, um, let's see here, these panels right here and it will kind of act like a clamshell effect. So these would go in, there's a, there's also a header piece, but those will go in on the outside here and then kind of sandwich everything together. And then you would bolt everything through these, through these holes here with the nuts on the inside. So looks like a fairly simple um, installation process. All in all, I'm, I'm kind of excited about it. So if you're looking for a vault door and you need something uh, secure and maybe armor plated, and um, uh, it has to go in a you know tight space or upstairs or downstairs, this door would probably solve that problem. If you're just looking for a regular vault door, you don't have to take it apart, right? So, I mean, I, I'd be happy with this vault door on any vault room. It's pretty cool. Um, all right. Well, hey, if you're in the market for one of these or any quality safe, just give us a call and uh, we're there for you. But thanks for having a look.